Well, my name is Robert Balzrek. I'm the lead executive for Air Superior Forwarding Programs for Lockheed Martin Government Affairs. I am the operational subject matter expert for the Indian F-21 program. We're in the cockpit of the F-21. This is the fighter we're offering to the Indian Air Force uh, for their ongoing fighter competition. And, and before we get started, we'd like to talk about what make, kind of makes an F-21 an F-21. Uh, there, are, there are folks that think that uh, we gave the name F-21 uh, randomly, uh, and there, was, there were specific reasons why we did that. Uh, in the mid-90s, we had a customer, our Japanese customer, that had asked us to provide them a derivative of the F-16. It was actually a Block 40. And by the time we completed uh, those modifications, they were structural and avionics mods, the airplane really wasn't a Block 40 F-16 anymore, and so the Japanese referred to that airplane as the F-2. The Indian Air Force F-21 is exactly the same. There are significant structural and avionics changes that make this airplane not no longer an F-16. It is specifically the Indian Air Force. This is the F-21. So externally, you can't really see, but there's a centerline spine that goes down the, the spine of the single seaters that houses uh, electronic warfare, uh, communications, and data link equipment. The airplane's equipped with a triple missile a dri uh, launcher adapter that enables the F-21 to carry a 10 by missile loadout, so a 40% increase over any other uh, F-16 on the planet. Uh, there is an infrared search and track. Uh, inside the airplane, if you come and look inside, uh, there is a large area display. This was taken from our uh, F-35. We have taken, and let me, I'm going to have to stop. 